Okay, so we are going to use Simpson's rule to approximate the integral of cosine x dx from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 to three decimal places for n is equal to 4. And then we're going to compare it to the exact value. Um, just for time purposes, I have everything all written out. Um, so we're going to start with, here's our integral. And we're going to start by solving for delta x. So delta x, and this is just something that you have to know, is always going to be equal to b minus a over n. So over here, our b is equal to pi over 2 minus a, which is equal to negative pi over 2, over n, which is equal to 4. So when you do all of your math, your 2's are going to cancel out, and you're going to be left with pi over 4. So what we are going to do next is we are, well, I just kind of wrote this number line here so you can see we have four squares, four rectangles actually, and we know that each of these spaces is equal to pi over 4. Therefore we know that this is going to be negative pi over 4, this is going to be 0, and this is going to be pi over 4 because those are the halfway points. And each of these are going to be terms and we are going to kind of write them in terms of x sub n just so for um, clarity's purposes. So I kind of have those written down here. x subscript 0 is equal to negative pi over 2. x sub 1 is negative pi over 4, and so on, all the way through pi over 2. And then we're actually just going to plug that into our equation here. So the first thing that you need to know about Simpson's rule is that Simpson's rule always has to have a certain number of terms because it follows the pattern of coefficients, which I kind of wrote in last minute up here. Um, so I'm sorry about that. It's kind of confusing. But the coefficient pattern is going to be 1, 4, 2, 4, 1. Um, basically, if you have more coefficients than we do, this 2 and 4 is going to go back and forth. But you're always going to start with 1 and then 4, and you're always going to finish with 4 and then 1. So. The next thing that you need to remember about Simpson's rule is that it's an approximation of the area. It's not exact. So for the equation, it's going to be area approximates to b minus a over 3n, which is also something else you just need to know. Then it's going to be from your integral, you get the cosine of x times your x sub 0, or of your x sub 0, plus 4 cosine x sub 1 and all the way down through, kind of ran out of room here, so I'm sorry about that as well, but all the way to cosine of pi over 2. And as you can see, the coefficients 1, 4, 2, 4, 1. So we're just going to go through and simplify it a little bit. So your b minus a, as we already saw up here from delta x, is going to equal to <laughs> pi, and then 3 times 4, because n is equal to 4, is 12. So you get pi over 12 times cosine of negative pi over 2. When we look at the unit circle, we see that our cosine is equal to 0. Then 4 times cosine of negative pi over 4 is equal to 2 over um, root 2, because your 2 and your 4 are going to cancel out. Cosine of 0 is 1 times 2, so you get your 2 there. And then these are basically the same over here, so 2 root 2 and then 0. So your area approximates to pi over 12 times, you've got two terms of 2 root 2, so 4 root 2 plus 2. Um, what I did is I just distributed out and then simplified. So I was left with area approximates to pi root 2 over 3 plus 1 over 6, 1 pi over 6, I'm sorry about that. Um, you can go through and do all the extra steps to make sure they have the same denominator and everything, but considering we needed decimals, I just plugged it straight into the calculator. And the answer that it gave me is 2.005, and because it's area, you have to remember that it's going to be units squared. So this is our Simpson approximation. Um, now we have to compare it to the exact value, which is just your basic integration. So you see that you have cosine of x dx. There's no use substitution or anything because it's not necessary here. Um, the 
antiderivative is going to be sine of x because sine of x is the only thing that will give you cosine x and then it's going to be evaluated from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So at this point where this is equal to b and this is equal to a, you are going to put this into this function here. So you're going to end up with sine of b minus sine of a, which over here is equal to sine of pi over 2 minus sine of negative pi over 2. So sine of pi over 2 is 1, and then sine of negative pi over 2 is negative 1. So that's going to give you 2 units squared. And as you can see, Simpson's approximation and the exact value are extremely close. So, and there you go.